Microchips implanted in human bodies could transform the way we tackle many everyday tasks. It replaces all the keys and cards that used to clutter his pockets. Brain of rice slipped under the skin. Now the technology is moving to humans. One day, you could have superhuman vision and download your brain to a computer. Fit fit in your skull with tiny wires. Easy to install brain computer interface. To install the Neuralink, a tiny piece of skull is removed and the Neuralink is slotted in. Just like Neo in the Matrix, you would be able to download skills into your brain. When it comes to microchips, smallness is boss. It's a new implantable medical microchip. So tiny it can be injected into a human body with a syringe. The world's first two nanometer chip. Its tiniest components are smaller than a strand of DNA. You stick a microchip on the back of it and it's wired into the sensors or the nerves. You can actually control, you can actually program genetic sequences, we can program DNA to do specific things. So we can program organisms in the way that we used to think we, we could program machines. It's not some dreaded government microchip to track your every move, engineered to continuously test your blood. Developed a flying microchip It's about the size of a grain of Sin. Sensors that can monitor airborne pathogens for to manage disease spread. Biomedical implants, electronics go inside the body and function for some period of time and then ultimately dissolve away and disappear. It's in there. Feel like a cyborg, part of the club. I would love to put one in my kids. This is a microchipping party. She believes one day we'll all be chipped like her. This is the future. Happy cyborg birthday. Being a human, but being a cyborg is special. They want to merge humans with technology, and I think it will be awesome. But this technology will, one day, change the way we live. That in the future, we will all be chipped. People could look back in 100 years and identify the coronavirus epidemic as the moment when a new regime of surveillance took over, especially surveillance under the skin, to hack human beings, to go under the skin, collect biometric data. So I have a chip implant in my arm and I have programmed uh, the chip so that I have my COVID passport. 